everybody, welcome back to the Gabrielle Taylor YouTube channel. I'm Gabrielle. Da, 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 I'm Gabrielle. The other week I did my complete collection of ballet shoes. I used to be a dancer. Um, I'm retired now. I just model and present and make YouTube videos and all that jazz. Um, so last week I did a complete collection of my ballet shoes. What I'm gonna do for you all in today's video is I'm gonna pick one pair of point shoes where you go on your toe. I'm gonna put them on and then I am gonna team the most appropriate dresses I own to go with the ballet shoes. So today's video is teaming my ballet shoes with two dresses and then at the end of course as always you are going to vote for the best look if you haven't already hit the subscribe button go ahead do that right now and press the bell so you get a little notification every time i upload a brand new video <laughs> Also check out my Instagram at Gabrielle Taylor Warren for daily pictures of me in high heels, in stockings. I don't really post pictures of me in ballet shoes, but I could. Etc. etc. So go and check that out. Right, which ballet shoes should I wear? It's a tough one in today's video for you all. Of course I'm gonna wear something these little things that you slip on the end. I feel like wearing the pre softs. I will go on my toes still, but I kind of feel like they're the more comfortable ones. For today, I'm gonna put these other ones away. If you've not seen where I do a complete collection of my ballet shoes, head back to my homepage, and it's a picture of my feet on the tiptoes, like, like that, in the thumbnail. This um, brings back so, mem so many memories, this bag. These are the ballet shoes I'm going to wear. They are my pre-soft ballet shoes, so it's not um, a point shoe. It is, well it is a point shoe, but they've got the metal rod that is in the back of a dance shoe taken out. Just makes your foot look more bendy. And of course I'm going to wear these little things, squidgy things for the end of your toes, so it doesn't hurt so much when you go on your tiptoes, it still does hurt quite a lot. But so it doesn't hurt as bad. These are Grishka, um, and they are a size, it says six and a half on the back, but they aren't a six and a half, these, I think they're a five and a half. Size of them and all that is different with every pair of shoes that you get, isn't it? Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, a shoe on, so. I'm gonna do this up now. I also go into detail as well didn't know on the other video about how to tie, how to properly tie a belly shoe. Do you want to know some interesting facts? Okay, that's one shoe on. I'm gonna go away right now, pop the other shoe on and I'll be right back with my two dress choices. Now this dress is definitely something I would have previously worn for a dance show. It is so ballet. I can't even explain how ballet this is. It goes just to the knee. This is a really good like dance show dress because when you go like this, it makes a really cool like, like that. When you're spinning around, it looks really good. Um, super comfortable up here as well, so it's really, would be nice to dance in. Low cut, but not too low cut. You could definitely like, Stitch that to your bra is something that we would do as dancers or put a little pin there. The back is nice and secure as well, zip all the way up to the top. And here we go. This is my first ballet outfit. I could definitely take myself to back in the day and be like, do my exam in this. This is kind of like a, I don't know, exam outfit, doing something in this outfit. What do you think? Do you like the outfit with the ballet shoes? Would you be seen out in public with me wearing ballet shoes and wearing this dress? If you didn't know as well, I have onlyfans.com forward slash Gabrielle Taylor for lots of exclusive content and videos. Now I know you all want to see the point where I stand on my toes. So, are you ready? Da, 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 da. 
number two in the belly shoes. Here we go. It's this puff ball skirt. I wore this, I think I wore this last week for a video. Um, honestly, this probably isn't something that I would dance in back in the day or do a dance exam in. A, because when you breathe, like your ribs can't drown, you don't really expect much more than that. So you get really out of breath when dancing, so you wouldn't be able to go and breathe like easily in this. Your ribs would be very contracted. Not good for the diaphragm, that. Pockets in it, no. That was wearing a different dress then. Also, it's very low around the front, although it does compact you in, so you wouldn't be flinging around too much with the old upper area. Um, but it's quite compacting, it doesn't, you're not really gonna do much damage in it. <laughs> Length of it is nice, goes just above the knee. Also, this is so ballet because underneath there's this netting, and I just feel like that adds a ballerina touch to it. If it was pink, it'd be even better, and that bit actually is pink underneath. So, there we go. Option two, also, the back is um, not as secure as the other dress. I don't feel not as secure. I, I don't feel like when I turn, it's as fun. The other dress is definitely more fun. I think I've made my mind up already. I think I prefer dress number one. But it's not down to me, it's down to you, the YouTube subscriber. And if you've not hit subscribe, do that now. <laughs> Tell me down below, do you prefer dress one or do you prefer dress two? I wanna know, down below in the comments section. Just give you a little walk up and down in this outfit now, before I sit down on the sofa. Why not? Maybe I'll give you a little dance up and down. thumbs up right now if you are impressed with my ballet skills today in these shoes and you shouldn't even really be doing that much point work in these shoes because they've not got as I said before the metal rod up the back so it's actually probably not really any good for your feet but they have been damaged so much over the years that who cares now it's <laughs> the damage is done I'd like to say it can't get much worse but it definitely could okay was it dress number one that you loved or was it dress number two that you loved? I'm gonna go for dress number one. What did you think of my ballet shoes? And if you would like me to do another video on my YouTube channel with the ballet shoes that I own, because I own quite a lot of pairs, then drop me a comment down below. What's your idea for a video for ballet shoes that I wear in the video? You know what I'm trying to say. If you've got an idea with ballet shoes, pop it down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your feedback. Okay, that is about it from me today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you leave me a comment. Check out my Instagram, at Gabrielle Taylor one and then check out my onlyfans.com forward slash Gabrielle Taylor. I will see you all on one of those platforms. If not, I'll see you all again tomorrow for another wonderful upload. Love you all so much. 